Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. Shout out to Cuba. I love your intro, sir. Nah, but seriously, today I'm gonna do a quick video. Generally in the fall time, I love my gourmands and my sweet fragrances. Um, generally, you know, with the summer heat, you know, being a thing of the past, these fragrances won't become too cloying in the fall heat, but yet they're strong enough to cut through them cooler autumn or fall days, evenings to where, you know, I, I believe that this is the most optimal time, optimum or optimal time to get away with a lot of the gourmands and sweet fragrances. Today, I just want to talk about maybe five or six of the gourmand slash sweet fragrances I'm going to be undoubtedly wearing this fall autumn season. Intro. Thank y'all for watching Page of Styles. For all my returning viewers, thank you very much for your continued support. For you newcomers, if you find the content to be, you know, informative and or entertaining, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, ring the bell for future notifications. So once again, as I stated before the intro, I want to give you a quick review or rundown of the six, I just chose six, gourmand or sweet fragrances I will be undoubtedly rocking this fall season. The first one being from the house of Tiziana Terenzi, and that is Al Contrario. Oh, I don't know if I said it right. Al Contrario. But no, this right here, to me, this is a very beautiful gourmand fragrance. I mean, I, I liken it to the next one on my list. Here you get this creamy, I want to say hazelnut um, note that, I mean, which is really the most gourmand or most prominent gourmand note in this fragrance. Some people compare this to Nutella. Unfortunately, I've never experienced or ate Nutella, so I can't tell you. But what I can tell you with this, I get a slight powdery, tiny slight, either cacao or coffee note, but it's gener but it's more so the what it seems like to be vanilla, benzoin, or amber to go with the hazelnut note in here that makes it a gourmand. And I've been testing this out here and there the last two, three weeks. And this is undoubtedly something I'm going to be wearing this fall. During my testing phase for you no know, performance, performance was a okay. I actually got around seven, seven and a half hours of usable performance or longevity, I should say. Projection, projection was you know average, a little above average for the first two, two and a half hours before it fell to a pretty much just a a tiny scent bubble around you. But this is beautiful. I actually did pull one compliment out of the few times but i mean it ain't all about compliments all the time or is it but al contrario i definitely say i believe that anybody can rock this for the fall and winter time but we're talking about fall now beautiful fragrance second one on the list from the house of tom ford you know everybody has to have i'm not gonna say have to have this but if they do you know, <laughs> mention Gourmands and Tom Ford's name. This is generally one that's going to pop up. Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Another beautiful, beautiful note. Now, this is not hazelnut like the previous one. They call this an Indian dessert kufi with this. It's going to give you that chocolate slash cacao slash nutty vibe when you rock this. Only bad thing about this is, to me, I don't get the performance like I get with the Al Contrario. This, to me, is either a five or six, you know, hour fragrance with, you know, a good, actually, the sillage is pretty much is where this one is at. Because it will follow, follow you, you know, within the arm's length for quite a while. But longevity, five to six hours. Projection, great that first hour. But from hours two, three, four, and four and a half. Is a quarter arm's length, I would say, on me. 
but I, um, anytime I have tested this and just wore it around people, I've, I've gotten compliments. I've gotten, you, you know, you smell good. I haven't gotten, oh my God, oh my God. But I have gotten looks of saying, oh my God, I want to eat you. So number two on the list, Tom Ford, Noir Extreme. The next one comes from the House of Gallagher Fragrances, and that is Rosé All Day. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I was wearing this one. Well, actually, I had three samples I've gotten. The last two samples I wore last fall and winter um, when you know, my job was, everybody was working in the um, in the pretty much the company or at the building. A few people was like, yo, this smells like their grandmother's apple pie. And I definitely or absolutely agree with that. This is definitely that apple pie fragrance. You can wear this in the fall. However, this is so close to beast mode. You're definitely probably going to want to win it, wear it in the winter time or where it is extremely cold because this is going to fill a room and a half. I used to do four sprays of this and literally be killing my aisle that I was working in, wearing cubicles, desks, not too far away from people. People from almost three rows down can actually, you know, <laughs> was really getting good wops of this. So just be careful on the trigger on this one. I'm not sure if he reformulated it, but the three to, well, this is the fourth sample now. These joints is very, very, if they're not beast mode, it's right on the borderline. <laughs> Rose All Day from Gallagher Fragrances is one I will definitely be wearing in the fall and winter season. Now, this next one also comes from the House of Gallagher Fragrances, and this is on the opposite end of the spectrum of performance wise, and that is Wicked Good. This right here is one of your most authentic full of realistic choc chocolates, vanilla, tonka bean. I have definitely gotten a lot of compliments wearing this, you know, last year. I've gotten compliments. I have told, heard people say, oh, you smell too, too sweet. Cause I pretty much, I mean, smell like a girl or a woman like that. So this definitely can be feminine right here. Performance wise, pretty much, you know, four, four and a half, five hour fragrance. But the chocolate note is so realistic while it lasts. And once that chocolate note goes away, you get a very extremely real vanilla note. And the Tonka bean kind of amps up the vanilla. Um, only thing I would definitely say is do not spray this on a white shirt. It's going to stain it. I've gotten two dress shirts I've had to throw, throw away because this is definitely going to stain it. So spray it on skin, then apply your clothing. But this right here, um, when I got my first sample, I made a mistake and threw away my chocolate gritty from Montel because I feel this is the superior chocolate. It just doesn't have that performance. And I thought I was going to have a bottle by now. I will save up to get a bottle. I keep saying that, but I keep buying other stuff. But this right here, I feel like if you like chocolate, and anywhere between the $80 and $100 range, this is the most realistic cho uh, realistic chocolate um, cologne, cologne fragrance that you're going to get within that range. Once again, chocolate gritty is good, but it wasn't as good as this to me. Only thing this is missing is the chocolate gritty performance. Next one from the House of Man Sira. This is Vanille, Vanille Exclusive. Did I say that right? Exclusive. But no, this right here. This is definitely that whipped cream, peach, brown sugar. I mean, this is sweet, but it's not cloyingly or annoyingly sweet right here, especially in the fall and winter time. I mean, be, even though it's a man syrup, the longevity is good. The projection isn't beast mode. I mean, it's just going to slightly, I mean, that first hour, it's above average. It's not beast mode. Second hour becomes a little bit above, still above average or just average. But the longevity on this is what's popping. I'm getting almost seven, almost eight hours of usable performance or longevity with this. Once again, projection is going to be beast or close to beast mode. Maybe that first hour, hour and a half, 
but then it says very close to the skin for that following six and a half hours. I think this is a must try for you or your lady because this is definitely unisex right here. Uh, my girl likes it. Um, I'm glad I, I don't have no regrets of blind buying this. So once again, that is Vanille Exclusive from Man Sarah. And the sixth and final one on this list is marketed um, for women. However, I love it. It comes off my skin very well. Only qualms I have with this is that I think it's out of production or discontinued because I cannot find a big bottle of this. And this is from the house of Michael Kors. And this is Midnight Shimmer. This is a beautiful, beautiful vanilla note. Let's see if I can pick out any notes in the air. Like vanilla, it's probably either Tonka bean in here. It smells a little almondy, heliotrope like this right here. This joint is so beautiful. I mean, it is marketed for women. However, I think any confident male, and especially one who likes vanilla, can absolutely pull this off. Um, I, I can see this being a compliment getter. You know, keep the sprays to a minimum, maybe three, four at the most, because this is, you know, kind of strong right here. Performance, I get all of seven, eight hours, and I stop counting really after eight hours. I generally will refresh my fragrances at the eight, seven or eight hour mark anyway, unless they're poor performing fragrances. Projection on this, is great for that first two hours from hour three four five and six it tapers off but it's still noticeable i'm not sure why michael kors discontinued this one even the bottle is beautiful I, i'm not sure why he discontinued this one but i mean we see it all the time with these fragrant houses they'll have you know a hidden gem masterpiece on their hand and they'll discontinue it because they don't see the worth of their work but the last one that I absolutely be, will be wearing, Sweeter Gourmand Fragrance, is Michael Kors Midnight Shimmer. So, quick, easy to the point, those six fragrances, I believe you should think about getting if you like sweet fragrances or gourmand fragrances. That wraps it up. Thank y'all very much for watching, supporting the channel. Once again, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell. It's free. Don't be a hater. You can, you can subscribe. You know, <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> but other than that, you know, let's grow and evolve together in this book of life. Turn to the page of styles. Y'all be blessed and walk in peace.